Good morning. This is Friday, February 16th, and today's devotion is the inspiration of spiritual initiative. Arise from the dead. That's Ephesians 5.14. Not all initiative, the willingness to take the first step, is inspired by God. Someone may say to you, get up and get going. Take your reluctance by the throat and throw it overboard. Just do what needs to be done. And I, I can relate to that. I like that. That is what we mean by ordinary human initiative. But when the Spirit of God comes to us and says, in effect, get up and get going, suddenly we find that the initiative is inspired as a spiritual aspect to it. We all have many dreams and aspirations when we were young, but sooner or later we realize we have no power to accomplish these things. We cannot do these things that we long to do, so our tendency might be to just think of them as dreams and aspirations being gone. But God comes to us and says, Arise from the dead. When God sends his inspiration, it comes to us with such miraculous power that we are indeed able to arise from the dead and do the impossible. The remarkable thing about spiritual initiative is that the life and power comes after we get up and get going. God does not give us overcoming life. He gives us life as we overcome. And as I was studying this today, I thought of a woman that I went to Bible college with. This was uh, 30 years ago. And she came to college. She, was, she felt the call of God to get up, arise, and get going to become a pastor. And she was 67 years old, and she was in a wheelchair. And she obeyed that command to get up and get going. And she wound up with a church of her own in Oregon. Her name was Joanne. So God does not give us overcoming life. He gives us life as we overcome, and she certainly did. When the inspiration of God comes and he says, Arise from the dead, we have to get up and get ourselves going. God will not lift us up. Our Lord said to the man with a withered hand, Stretch out your hand. As soon as the man did so, his hand was healed. But he had to take the initiative to stretch out his hand. If we will take the initiative to overcome whatever it may be today, we'll find that we have the inspiration of God because he immediately gives us the power of life. That's the challenge I have for us today is God, has God, been calling us to arise. Arise and walk into this thing that he has set for us. Has he challenged us to stretch forth our hands in whatever that may be and trust him? And I challenge you to do that today, to stretch forth your hand, whatever he may be calling you to, and trust him. Let's pray. Father, I pray today that you would give us uh, that call to arise from the dead and reach forth our hands, Lord. We have to be the ones. But we know that as soon as we do, your power will be there. So, Lord, whatever it is you've called us into, it might be something as simple as a deeper devotional life. It might be discipling somebody. It might be a call to ministry, but whatever it is, Father, I pray that we would obey you. Let us take the initiative and, and stretch forth our hand. We have to do that, and we know that you'll be there. We love you, Lord, and we give you all this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.